Hi there, I'm Rosie Chung and welcome to my channel. Earlier in today's video, you saw me demonstrate a split test uh, between utilizing a 12 ounce uh, generic store brand sprayer versus a Flareso 10 ounce fine mist sprayer from the Buckle store um, on saturating curly hair. So I was first introduced to the Flareso mist sprayer exactly a year ago at the Spoke and Wheel salon, uh, at the Spoke and Wheel West Hollywood salon, and I was in so much awe in how it saturated my hair in a matter of seconds and with easy application. I kept considering adding this particular sprayer into my beauty cabinet but I kept putting it off and making other curly hair discoveries a priority until I got connected with Del Ting the owner of the buckle store so Del and I got connected through an entrepreneurial Facebook group, which by the way, I'm finding that Facebook groups are an incredible source for uh, getting connected with other people, especially for networking, um, uh, freelancing gigs, and other opportunities. So if uh, you're in search of a place to grow your network and land partnerships, a Facebook is worth considering. In my video description below and in my correlating blog post for this video, I am providing a couple of Facebook groups that I highly recommend that you check out if you're really interested in that kind of uh, opportunity. So anyway, Dale was reading one of my blog posts that I had shared uh, when introducing myself on the Facebook group and uh, in doing so it reminded him of one of his most recent blog posts which he shared with me. So I ended up reading that and I came to find out that Dale was selling these sprayers at his uh, online store. And so I asked them about it and um, you know, I was asking him his thoughts about the sprayer and how he utilizes it. And before we knew it, we were uh, discussing possible showcase ideas on how to utilize a fluorosyl fine mist sprayer. Um, you know, in earlier in today's video and how I like to use it in my everyday basis is for curly hair um, to refresh my hair and to resaturate my hair with water. But there are a ton of uses for uh, the fluorosyl fine mist sprayer. So for the buckle store, he, uh, Dell sells um, other cleaning supplies and other cleaning products so um, if you want to make your own or if you uh, have a particular brand of cleaning a uh, product that you like you can always add it in here to uh, spray with if you check out Dell's store he sells a couple items that you should definitely check out um, so to give you a little bit of uh, context to this particular sprayer, I got this from Target. It's 12 ounces and um, what's important to know is that the nozzle can um, be screwed, unscrewed, um, loosened and or tightened and that makes a big difference in terms of how uh, the water will um, come out of the sprayer. So as you can see right here, if you unscrew it and make it looser, you can see there's a little bit of space right here. Um, and that's gonna make the water come out, a, that's gonna make the water come out a little bit differently. So, hopefully you can see that. But basically that was just um, a line, it squirted out, it squirted out pretty much a line of water. So, if you end up tightening it a little bit more, it will give you more of a mist compared to the Flarosol sprayers. Okay, here we go. Hopefully you're able to see that, but that is um, how you can utilize this as a mist on curly hair. Uh, so with this one, it tends to throw a lot of water out. So um, what ends up happening is my hair gets a uh, soaking wet but usually at the bottom um, and it doesn't evenly spray onto my hair. Um, I don't have a problem with using this it's just that it the application is a little bit different for my hair. So with comparison to this particular spray bottle um, I'm going to show you there's I, for as far as I know there's no way to adjust the nozzle so that the mist comes out differently but this is what it looks like. Um, so with this one, I'm going to do a, the actual continuous spray because that's what's really um, cool about this particular product. But So if you take a look at my fingers and how long I'm holding down 
just to spray out the water. And you could probably see how much water it's coming out and how um, <laughs> my hands are all wet, but just how much um, coverage you can get from utilizing this uh, sprayer. That's really important in terms of getting your hair all wet. Um, and I'm gonna do, let's see if I can do this. Um, and just to see how many times you have to click this versus how many times you have to click this. So basically, um, this is more continuous and this one, um, you do have to click several times just to make sure it all comes out. So if you are considering investing in the Flare So Fine Mist Sprayer, I do have a link in my video description as to where you can purchase it on the Buckle Store. And uh, that's pretty much it for today. I hope you enjoyed watching today's video doing the split test demonstration. If you've had a similar experience comparing the Flare So Fine Mist Sprayer with another brand or product that's similar, comment below and share your experience. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching.